Hello everyone, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. Today I'll be trying to prove to all of you that I am more competent than I appear. I know, it's an uphill challenge sometimes, but what we're going to be doing today is, well as you can see, I have been doing a Iron Man Germany in, uh, this is in 1939, this is, this is my save, I can promise you. Uh, this is the state of it in 1939. I had all of this recorded, however the footage has corrupted because I ran out of hard drive space. But I, 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 I was almost on track to defeat the Soviet Union. Um, so, but I'm, I'm going to redo it all so you can kind of see how sometimes competent I can be. Uh, also, get rid of that border gore as well. I don't want that anymore. Might not be able to help that though. So I will once again play as Germany. Iron Man, historical AI. And let us begin. So, I know what you're thinking. Well, Alex, this doesn't show that you're a good player. I'm not trying to show I'm a good player, just competent. And competent, I think I can be. Go ahead with all of the cheeky cheeky of the researcher Roonies. Also, just to let you know, my videos will be reduced to once every other day, maybe once every three days at the moment, as I'm in the process of moving back to England, and I also have the lady friend visiting. So, I've done all the initial stuff, nothing else to do really, but um, un un unpause the video, methinks. I mean, five speed, not unpause the video. What am I even talking about anymore? Oh. Right. Also, I will be playing fairly historically. So, that, won't, that means I'm not going to be declaring war on Poland in 1936. I'll be doing it through the national focuses. Oh, yep, yeah, would help if I actually recruited some... Infantry divisions, or divisions in general, wouldn't it? Yes, that would be very good, Alex. Very, very helpful indeed. Gosh, darn it. That's the, I, I did this in the first round, too. Okay, Rhineland is done. We'll now move on to the Reich Autobahn. Also going to get Wilhelm Kittel in for minus 10% division training time to get him pumped out a little bit sooner. Now, I know Germany is quite an overpowered faction, and I probably don't need to prove that I'm competent at the game or anything, but sometimes I just fancy fancy actually doing something and doing it kind of kind competently. In an ideal world, I'd, I'd capitulate both the Allies and the Soviet Union by 1940, which is what I was trying to do in that first round. However, it might be a bit tight, uh, so I don't want to promise anything. So I'm, I'm not going to, because again, it could all go very badly. If this footage corrupts again, I'm, 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 I might actually go out and buy Cheetos. Espana is our war, okay? Probably not going to get involved in that. Not really too bothered what happens, goes on here. Okay, we've just hit 1937 and I have enough manpower to do the Anschluss, which of course we shall try and gobble up as much as we can without actually having any war. I really hope this works. Oh god, don't crash. For the love of gosh, don't crash. What's this? You're seeing you're seeing me use paratroopers for the first time? Yes. Probably quite incompetently, but I'm gonna give it a good old round to try. Oh, uh I clicked off it, but we had the Hindenburg disaster. But it's okay because we've got them now. <laughs> and now we're gonna demand the Sudetenland. I will continue to gobble at gobble a very gobbly pace. Germany strong. Uh, let's put the squeeze on Yugoslavia. Can't trust those fellows. I know I'm only in June 1937, but I feel that I was doing better in the last round. I don't know what's happening, but I don't feel that it's just... It just doesn't feel like it's going as well, which is a bit of a pain. I mean, I've got 800,000 troops in the field, but it just doesn't feel like a lot, you know? Also, really need to ramp up. Oh, gosh. Oh, there we go. Boom. Gobble, gobble, gobble. First Vienna award. Very good. Also really need to get more uh, planes. That's what we need to do. And now we'll just try and gobble Czechoslovakia by the end of 1937. Wouldn't that be nice, eh? That'd be very nice, very tasty. Oh, my freaking chair. All it does is squeak all the time and it's bloody well in a way. I, I can guarantee you that. So we've got, oh, 986,000 in the field. Not, I mean, it's not amazing, but it could be worse. Oh, okay, it's all kicking off. Uh, right, that's go. okay, very good. Uh, whatever, uh, whatever, put the squeeze. All of Czechoslovakia belongs to the Reich, and no one stopped me from doing that. So that's brilliant. We now control all of, <laughs> all of Czechoslovakia. Um, very nice indeed. 
Now I think I'll just go down the army innovations and the treaty and then the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. Always lacking rubber. You never want to lack rubber. Rubber, lacking rubber, very bad. Very bad indeed. No, Yugoslavia, you can bugger off. I... We will recall von Haufenstein. And we'll just do the treaty with the USSR. And then we'll start going after Monsieur Poland. Yeah, 126 divisions. I, 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 would, I would probably like more. Well, I'd like... Yes, I would like more. I, there's no probably about, about it. But that's okay. I'm up to 137 now. 138. Oh, great. They've accepted the treaty. Very nice indeed. Do that now. Then reassert Eastern Claims and then Danzig or... Lovely stuff. We will now do... Reassert Eastern Claims. Okay, so 1938 June and I've got 162 divisions. Okie dokie. Moscow signs the pact. Very good. Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. That means we'll divide up Poland, but that's fine with moi. Uh, are they? They haven't joined the. Oh, they're going with Britain now. So that's a perfect time to strike after that, methinks. And I will just garrison my coastline just in case we get any pesky naval invasions. I'm not going to use all of my navy. Well, the limited navy that it is. Okay, so we've got another five divisions. Send them over there. And I've run out of stuff to build, so I'll get more refineries and probably some more military factories. Never have too many military factories in, the, in this game, don't you know? That's Rambler, Rambler top tip! Rambler top tip, everyone! Fourth international. The, you know, not really too bothered about that. There we go. France and Britain announced their alliance, and so now I'm 70 days away from war. Dancing or war. And now, just before war, I'm up to 187 divisions, which I hope will be enough. I think it will be enough. That comes up to 1.6 million men in the field in 1938. However, I think I've done something a bit slower. Uh, so I don't I don't believe I'm going to finish off the Soviet Union and the Allies by 1940, which is a shame. But it's more that I just wanted to show that I, I, am, I am capable of doing it. Okie dokie, we're a war, Danzig or war. Let's send in the troops. That should be enough to destroy them. Now we'll do around Maginot, very good, and get my air force sorted, well some of it already is. Okay, yep, we're now at war, British Malaya, everyone's, everyone's joining the train. Oh dear, looks like most of the Polish army, and some of the British too, have been encircled. Lovely jubbly, that's what we like. Well that's, yeah, that's Poland, that's Poland taken, Poland, Poland sorted. Saw it out, mate. We saw it a bit. Declare war and not forgetting you, Luxembourg, the danger, the danger nation of Europe. And we can invite Italy in. Come on in, Italy. And we can also invite Nationalist Spain. So, yes, come on in too. Thank you very much. Hey, Netherlands has capitulated. Very good. Yes, the treaty must be obeyed. Oh, Luxembourg is still alive. Well, we can't have that now, can we? Belgium's gone. Very nice indeed. Thank you for the equipment, chap. And now... Oh, and Luxembourg. Fare thee well to you too, sirs. Paris has fallen. Okie dokie, yeah, we'll establish Vichy France. And then... Second Armistice at Compagnon. Flight of Rudolf Hess, oh, screw you. Free France has capitulated, which is what we needed. And now let's plan our uh, invasions over into England, shall we? Okay, well, I have all my invasions ready. Uh, that's a bit of a pain. Because I thought I had the power drops ready. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see if we can get over there. In Fortress Britain. Okay, well, I need to wait until I can gain control of a port before I can send over my troops. Taken London though, just power drop straight into London. So screw you, sirs. Hold that port, please. Hold that port. Oh, we also control Dover. Okay. Well, we've got power drops all across the country. So I guess they weren't expecting the Germans this quickly. Well, this naval invasion planning was pretty much useless, wasn't it? Hey! Righto. Well, let us just take all of the bits we can. Oh, and look, we can invite Hungary. In you come. Okay, so I've got two million, million men in the field. Uh, hopefully that'll be enough to take out the Soviet Union. And in fact, yes, we'll accept their war request. So we technically do break the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact. And we can get Japan in. Boy, oh boy. 
The British Empire is eager for another war. Ah, I was wondering when the Soviets would start assaulting my position. That's very good. Let them keep doing that. Oh, is this going to be a tasty encirclement? Oh, look at that. That's a very tasty encirclement. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, yeah. Wow, I wasn't expecting to just waltz on in. Oh, Sevastopol has fallen too. Who else wants to join our faction? Oh, Bulgaria. You're at war with Yugoslavia, so I'm not really fussed about having you in, in the faction. Nah. Hey, the fall of Baku. So, should that be enough? They're 98% towards capitulation. Oh my god, I've actually done it. I've capitulated both the Allies and the Soviet Union before 1940. I must say, this feels fan dabby dozy. Okay, well, there we go. Hopefully that shows you that I can sometimes be competent at Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, by 1939, well, actually, towards the end of 1939, the Axis now control pretty much all of the world. I think that's pretty good. So, yeah. I'm very surprised that I actually managed to capitulate both before 1940, but I'm very pleased with what I've, with what I've done. Hopefully you are too. If you've enjoyed the video, of course, leave a like and all that jazz. And until next time, everyone, I bid you a very, very good day. Many thanks to Wyatt, John, Mike, Adam, Miss Lexicon, Random the Randomer, Nicholas, Travis, Sam, and Isari Productions for being ridiculous Rambler supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too.